to welcome you to a very special occasion for two very special young men. At this time, I ask you to remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Chairman, Mr. Mike Trubiani. Thank you, Michelle. And Jack Dillon, first of all, I don't think this is how your spirit you were expecting graduation to be, uh, but as we know, it's uncertain times and we do the best we can. But first and foremost, on behalf of the Pembroke School Committee in the town of Pembroke, we would like to congratulate you on your graduation, but also thank you for the service you're about to begin. Um, what you're doing is, is admirable, and as you would have seen before, the number of students who have left Pembroke High School and gone to military service will be with you, and I'm sure they will all be thinking of you. So as a town, we are grateful for your service, and we are happy to support you throughout the years. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tribbiano. At this point, I'd like to introduce two kind of schools, Mrs. Erin Obi. As Mike said, I think we can all um, say that this isn't exactly what we had pictured for the graduation of our class of 2020. 
but we're all thankful that we're able to come together this evening and celebrate the amazing accomplishments of Jack and Dylan. We come together as a community tonight to reflect upon and celebrate with you your many successes in your journey getting to this point. You arrived in Mrs. Kennefick and Mrs. Fernald's kindergarten classroom in September of 2007 as impressionable young men, and 13 years later, you leave us poised to take on all of life's challenges. It is such an honorable decision to join the military, and I thank both you and your families for your commitment to service. When you are challenged, or discouraged, I hope you will remember your years at Bryanville, the middle school in Pembroke High School, and the lessons that you learned both there and at home. They will give you strength and courage. Have faith in yourself and the unique individuals you are, and be true to yourself. I would like to congratulate not only Jack and Dylan, but each of you here in the audience. Without your love and support, their success would not have been possible. Congratulations. My turn to go through mocks, which I always enjoy doing. School committee chair, Mr. Tripiano, members of the school committee, Superintendent Obi, Assistant Superintendent Brust, faculty, staff, family, and friends, and of course, Jack and Dylan. I just want to take a moment to let you know how happy we are that we're able to host a ceremony tonight for the two of you. When we were in the discussion phase throughout the spring, of what the end of the year for the class of 2020 was going to look like. Our graduates making a military commitment were at the forefront of our thoughts. How can we plan for a graduate ceremony for the class of 2020 when not all of us members were going to be available? Not only that, but the reason why you're not going to be available is as honorable of a reason as possible. We struggled. We struggled. And I did not want you to feel left out because you're making a tremendous commitment to serve our tremendous nation. That struggle and that dilemma weighed heavily on us, even though over 95% of your classmates indicated you were serving that they wanted us to hold off on any virtual June ceremonies. They wanted us to hold off and try to schedule something in August. As it turns out, it worked out as we will be doing something in August. But that did not make our struggle any less. And it was really in speaking with your families over the past several weeks that made it clear to us that you understand our position, you understand our dilemma, and that you would be on board with a very special moment like tonight. I want to thank your families for raising such fine gentlemen, but I also want to thank your families for their understanding, for their support, and for their help in making tonight possible. Thank you very much to the Eggers and Hammond families. <clears throat> that does not mean that you will not be missed on August 8th. Of course you will. One of the greatest honors for me with each graduation ceremony is when I ask the members of a particular class that are committed to the military to stand and be recognized. That usually happens right smack dab in the middle of the ceremony. And the rousing ovation of gratitude showered upon those who are standing by the members of this fine community is one of the most emotional moments of the day. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. I would like your families to know that I plan on doing that as well on August 8th, even though Jack and Dylan won't be there. And so it's my hope that you will be there. It's my hope that you will, as I'm inviting you now to attend. And I'd like you to stand in honor of Jack and Dylan so you can appreciate the love this community has for our young men who serve our country. I want to congratulate both of you for all you've accomplished so far, and I wish you the best of luck in what you know about, no doubt will accomplish in the future as members of the United States Army. By enlisting to serve, particularly in these fragile times, and that fragility is both here and abroad, you are demonstrating uncommon valor. Our hope for you is that you never lose sight of your goals, you never waver from your guiding principles that led you to commit in the first place. As I'm sure you understand, maintaining that focus will be harder with each passing conflict or with each new responsibility that's heaped upon you. You are not going to want some of the responsibilities, but they're going to be yours for sure. However, with the courage 
with the resolve that you are clearly demonstrating right now that you already possess, we are certain that you will persevere. On behalf of a very grateful Pembroke High School community, Jack and Dylan, I thank you. At this time, I want to pause for a brief musical interlude. This one's a bit more special, in my opinion, than ones of the past. Your classmates that comprise the Honors Chamber Singers asked me a little over a month ago if they could create and record a song for this year's graduation ceremony, be it virtual or in person, but one that reflected the essence of the class of 2020 and its knack for sticking together. just to edit, let alone perform. <clears throat> well, at this time, it's time for what we all came for. Uh, I would ask Mr. Ricks and Ms. Kelly to prepare for the issuance of our diplomas. Would the members of the class of 2020 please rise? Jack Mason Eggers.
Dylan James Hanlon. Don't get comfortable, Jack and Dylan. I need you to rise again. That's what happens if you have only two people in the graduate class, right? <laughs> I am hoping at this point you will join me in the ceremonial movement of tassels. Take a tassel from the right to the left. School committee chairman, Mr. Trubiano, members of the school committee, Superintendent Obi, Assistant Superintendent for Rust. I am able to certify to you that each of these diploma candidates has met or exceeded the requirements for graduation as established by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Pembroke School Committee. They are worthy recipients of a Pembroke High School diploma. And to Dylan and Jack, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by the Pembroke Public Schools School Committee, I now pronounce you graduates. <clears throat> Jack Eggers, I'm of the graduating class 2020, and I'm going to Fort Jackson, South Carolina. My name is Dylan Hanlon, I'm of the graduating class of 2020, and I'm going to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Um, well, my plans for the summer are boot camp, obviously, and then see where it goes from there, and then I might go to college in a couple of years. Well, my plan is obviously to go into boot camp, and uh, <laughs> college is getting pushed back until the spring semester and that's when I'll start college. I've always wanted to be in the Army since I was a little kid. I've had the most upper respect for all the service members, so I just figured I'd fulfill my dream and join the Army. Now it's 12 weeks of training, just turning you from a civilian to a soldier, just breaking you down and building you back up as a U.S. Army soldier. Socially distanced and six feet apart from each other, whether it's meeting up with cars or doing Zoom meetings or house parties and stuff like that, just trying to stay as close and as safely responsible as possible. Staying connected through social media, uh, staying socially distanced six feet apart, and other activities like that. Um, it's been a long ride, but we finally did it. I know none of us imagined it be ending in this way, but we did it, and thank you to all the teachers that helped me throughout the way, throughout my journey. We did it, we're done. We can go home now. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously not what we wanted, but they're doing their best to give us our end of the year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,